Good morning, everyone. I just finished one of the hardest workouts of my entire life, and I feel great. I am trying to get into a bit more of a fitness routine, and I am challenging myself to go five days this week. So we're on day three out of five, and it's going well. I think going to a gym that has such a nice mix of classes has been really great because I get really bored easily. But we're gonna have a nice productive day. I have a lot of work for accepted for content creation. So as I said in a recent vlog, I am kind of differentiating between the Dissertation Diaries series, which is gonna focus on all of my PhD research, and then my London Diaries videos are gonna focus more on life in London and just day to day. So today is gonna to be a good productive day. We're gonna head on home, take a shower, and get the day started, see what's on the to-do list, and get as much done as we possibly can because we got a lot on our plates today. rocking out to Taylor Swift, but then I was about to make my homemade strawberry matcha and figured that you might all like a recipe. Because I get messages every time I post it on my Instagram and I thought that the little reels video that I did, this one, would have been explanation enough. However, in all fairness, the strawberry syrup is something that I make at home. But I figured I'd just show you my matcha process. So first and foremost, we need to make the matcha. So we went ahead and heated up some water. I use a hefty amount of matcha. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you in. Here we have our trusty matcha. I, this matcha is the Apato tea matcha. I think it's the best. I got it at Japan House in Kensington. I will link all my favorite matchas in the description though. So I do like two kind of hefty scoops. Actually, I might do more. I feel like today's a big caffeine day. So I do a good solid scoop of that. And then I go ahead and I pour a little bit in. And what I'm trying to do is make a paste. So instead of like a round motion, use this kind of zigzag motion in order to dissolve the clumps of matcha because it tends to stick to itself. Just give that a good stir. And then once it looks like it's pretty smooth and you're not seeing the granules of the matcha clumping together, then it's time to go ahead and add a nice healthy slug of water. So I'd say that's about good. And now we're gonna go ahead and prepare the cup. So we start with a nice glass and we go ahead and pour the strawberry syrup. So this is just strawberries that I put into a blender, blend it up and then put it over some heat until it began to simmer. I added a little bit of sugar, dissolved that and then went ahead and put it into this container. And I like a big healthy dose. Now I need some ice. Next, I'm gonna use some oat milk. You can use whatever kind of milk you want. And now comes the part that's always a mess, which is actually getting the matcha into the cup. My technique for this is lifting the cup at a slight angle and then pouring in the matcha. That might've been my cleanest pour yet. Next, we have the cap, and now the matcha is done. Now we need to give it a little swirl. Good old fashioned swish. And now we give it a sip. Perfection. Okay, now I actually have to get real work done. Let's go to the office.
sat down on my computer and one thing that I do first thing in the morning is I turn on a YouTube video and go to my Notion and just check in with my goals for the week and my to-do list and all of that. I used to be a physical planner early. I still am. However, I have found that sometimes with having a physical planner, I will write things down and then I just don't think about it or I will write them down and then I feel like that's accomplishment enough. Whereas with Notion, I'm really enjoying the workflow and I posted my video, how to gamify your productivity with Notion. And I actually just added another thing because if you watch my videos for any period of time now, then you know I like stats. So I added this weekly goal planning board and in it, I have calculated what percentage of the goal I have reached so far and then also am averaging out how many of my goals I am on the way to accomplishing. So, so for example, I needed to revise a business plan and budget and I met with Kate yesterday and so we got most of that done. I need to finalize it. So I said that's about 50% of the way. And then I had that I wanted to enter 10 entries into the Black Life database. And I said, that's about 25% of the way done. And then I wanted to go to the gym five times this week. I've gone three so far, so I'm at 60%. So when I average everything, I am currently at 23% of the way towards achieving all of my goals for the week. It might sound silly, but I find stats so motivating. <laughs> and so for example, when I see 23%, that's an F, but I would like to hit like 60 or 70% because I can live with being a D or a C student, but I can't live with being an F student. I did that once, it wasn't fun, and I am very motivated by grades. And so I'm giving myself and my goals a grade for the week, which is about as, as nerdy and about as academic as you can make your day-to-day -day life and goals. But I am a PhD candidate after all. It's what I was raised and trained to do, is to seek validation from grades. Now it's time to switch gears and start working for the day. On Wednesdays, this is the day that I have the apartment completely to myself. My partner goes into the office and this is my content day. This is the day that I film. I try to get a lot of TikTok and Reels content edited, and I also want to get a bunch of stuff done for Accepted. So I'm going to go ahead and edit my little morning routine reel, put on a little bit of makeup, outline a video, begin some of the clips for the video, and then it's all about editing. zero. I sent out interview requests for the candidates that we think would be the best match for the study administrator positions for accepted society. I got a bunch of other things done and now I'm getting the photo concepts out to my photographer. So Danny is a photographer I've worked with many times in the past. She's done all of the big accepted related photo shoots and she also did a little branding photo shoot for me and Katie back in October but she's coming to London and we're going to be doing a photo shoot with myself and with London boy 
And so I am just pulling together a little Pinterest board. I'm not spending very much time on this. I'm just trying to get enough of a concept so that way we have something to go on and I'm gonna send that over to her. And then I have some client documents I need to review. Content went out, the to-do list is looking good. So I have some calls in a couple of hours that I want to make sure I have all of this done in advance of. So I'm going to go ahead and just keep powering on last bit of task work. And then I have a lot of meetings. So I'm going to go ahead and just dive right back in. But I just wanted to check in and let you know where we're at. more aligned with the overall mission that we started off with, making it more community oriented and making it more so about the like getting through part as a community, I think is the aspect where I felt a little limited with accepted. I just felt that, yeah, we're getting people into schools, but I want them to succeed in the long run. Academia is just so damn isolating. Well, I'm gonna go. Say hi, check in, if you don't mind. No, not at all. We can talk more later. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, you got this. We got this. I'll talk to you later. Good morning, friends. It is the next day. Heading on to day four out of five of attempting to work out every day this week. It is a dissertation focused day, but I'm going to keep the vlog going through tomorrow because I've got a lot of fun like content creator type stuff going on this evening and tomorrow and just want to keep the vlog going so i have a pilates class this morning i am so sore from yesterday but i told myself i'd go five days this week so here we go <laughs> my coffee. I had such a good difficult workout today. I am so 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 sore. <laughs> and the instructor today was this woman who I'd never taken a class with before and she was intense. I felt like I was back in my professional athletic days getting yelled at. <laughs> but you know what? It got a lot out of me. I ended up working really hard and I feel so sore and just so happy that I went to that class. And I'm definitely gonna see if she's teaching classes again next week because for some reason, when a tiny Eastern European woman starts yelling at you, you listen. This morning I'm running the Accepted Society working session. I've been really enjoying running them again. I kind of fell off the bandwagon while I was doing comps and prospectus and all of that and as the team was being built out but we're making some changes and things are shifting around a little bit especially as Katie and Chanel are stepping back to focus on school and we're just changing the general focus of accepted I'll make a video about it at some point about the changes that we're planning on making but what I'm really enjoying now is being a little bit more involved in the Accepted Society Forum, the Accepted Society study sessions, and I am running the session this morning, which is great because I need to get work done on my database. Honestly, I have found that since I stopped running the sessions regularly, I am just less productive when it comes to my dissertation and my schoolwork. And I have found that when I run the sessions, I tend to be more productive. And so I am now running two or so a week and I am running the one this morning. So I'll be working on my database and then hopefully 
get a little bit of client document review done. But the dissertation is the focus today. So this book and I got to get to work. just went out while I was in the middle of working on data entry. And I don't know if it saved. I was also running the Accepted Society study session and okay, the power is back on. I can turn my computer back on. It's gonna be okay. I'm so annoyed though. I really hope it's saved. Everybody just say a little prayer. I don't care who you pray to. Just please, some good thoughts that this saved. It didn't save any of it. All the work that I did for the last hour and a half, none of it, it's all gone, all of it. God dang it. <sighs> it's okay, it wasn't that much work. It was only an hour and a half. And like three entries, it's fine. It's fine. That is not good. That is really, really annoying. I have had a rather unfortunate morning, but I got something very exciting in the mail. I had sold my previous camera so that way I could upgrade. And it was just such a nightmare. I had sold it on Facebook Marketplace and it was a scam and basically lost all the money on that camera. And so I've been trying to save up as much as I can in the interim in order to repurchase it because I personally love taking photos. When I first came to England in 2018 and in 2019, I had really fallen in love with photography and with videography and that's why I started my YouTube channel. And since getting to the UK, I have been really missing getting to take beautiful photos. And I was talking to my partner about this last weekend and I was just so upset because we were on a trip together. We were on our anniversary weekend trip and I just really wanted to take photos, but I just didn't have the kind of camera equipment that I wanted. I obviously have my phone, but when you get to actually understand professional photography and get to actually understand the ways that these cameras operate it just changes things but anyway i got the sony a7c it is a full frame camera and the reason i got this was because i had the sony a7 III and it did not have the fully articulating screen and i was really struggling with it and i wasn't actually using it for a lot of filmmaking because as a vlogger i really needed a couple of the features that the a7 III just didn't have yet. Look at this beauty. I'm so excited. Has a strap. We've got the battery pack and I'm just so thrilled. I have an event to go to tonight and I think I might bring it with me. Oh, I'm so excited. This looks so amazing. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, I cannot wait to film more content on this. I have been dying to just get some really beautiful crisp B-roll and I've been missing my other camera and I'm so happy that I finally have another full frame camera to work with because I love, I love vlogging and being in London and starting this London Diaries and Dissertation Diaries videos has really just reignited my love of YouTube and of filmmaking and I'm so happy. But I just wanted to give you a little update. I made some, I just had such a rough day with my database, but overall I'm coming across some really interesting figures in the database, which I'm not fully ready to talk about yet, but once I've revised the work that got lost, probably share that in the dissertation diaries videos. But 
I am actually going to go ahead and send out an email and see if I can actually move one of my meetings I'm supposed to have this afternoon. So that way I can head into town a little bit early so I can hopefully hang out with Kate before I have this influencer event that I'm going to. So I'm so happy. So much fun yesterday on the go boat in Paddington with Elizabeth. I got invited by my friend Jazz, who I met through TikTok. And there were two other women on our boat who, one of them does social media, but they are colleagues and they work together. And it was so much fun. They supplied us with such great snacks and it was beautiful. It was just very relaxing and it did start to rain for a little while, but they supplied us with umbrellas and we were all good to go. So it was really fun. And then I met up with my partner in town to meet up and grab dessert, and then head home. And then I just knocked out because it was a long day. But I woke up to my alarm this morning, which I don't normally do. I normally am awake before my alarm, but today, it's a wee bit of a struggle, but you know what? We are going on to day five of going to the gym and it feels good. I am sore as all hell, but I am looking forward to getting a workout in. And then I'm heading into town, which is why I have my backpack in my bag because I am meeting up with Becca and we're gonna do a little co-working session. So I'm going to go ahead and mosey my butt over to the gym, get to my class on time, and see what the day has in store for us. finished my workout and it was so tiring but now I'm just walking around Baker Street heading over to Boxcar Bakery to meet up with Becca and I just love this city so much. I'm just walking around with a big old smile on my face because I just absolutely love it here. But it is time to go get some work done at a really cute coffee shop and just enjoy the rest of the day.